hello guys welcome to my channel and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about job search and uh, like how to start when to start what are the tools which will be useful for you in your job search and uh, some tips and tricks and uh, like uh, which is going to help you in your job search so like this video will be revolving around the job opportunities and some mediums uh, regarding same now like the first question is uh, when to start the job search and uh, like when should you start applying so like when like you should be in a position to apply for jobs so in my case like uh, it was like first you have to define what all you need to cover let's say i am assuming you are two years automation engineer so when is the right time like uh, you should apply so for this uh, first you have to define syllabus or what are the topics which you need to cover and when you are like 70 to 80 percent uh, confident because guys believe me like you will never feel 100 percent confidence so like this is a tip here uh, don't wait for 100 percent coverage and 100 percent coverage is a myth right so that's why like you should not be in uh, like you should not feel like uh, okay i'll i'm going to apply when I have covered all these things although you, like you should prepare but uh, like you should not aim for uh, excellence that's what I meant to say in this regard so whenever you are like uh, 70 to 80 percent uh, confident just start applying and before applying like the resume comes into picture so like my tip will be when you are preparing let's say it has been almost a month so after a month of preparation you should like start this part i hope i'm clear that uh, this way like you don't have to wait for making your resume because a resume is a single page but believe me like it will take you like one to two days just to um, like make a killer resume uh, killer resume all right so you should not be like waiting for the end um, for making the resume and uh, you should make it parallelly while uh, doing preparation that way also like uh, uh, it will help you because uh, all the things which are made in a hurry are not made good that's what i felt i feel uh, so and one more thing regarding resume is like is it okay to fake experience i'll definitely like not recommend you so this is a no from my side because uh, like in the background verification or something like you can get into trouble like uh, you have done all the process and in the end it is found to be a fake one so it will be a trouble for you and in some cases uh, it can also lead to the rejection of your candidature so you don't want that right because after putting in so much efforts you don't want to like get blacklisted or something so that's a big no from my from my side plus like lying on resume like in this regard you have to be smart so let's say like you haven't worked on automation but let's say you are working from past six months in automation so you can lie that uh, if you have uh, like from past one one year i'm working on automation so this much variation you can uh, like put again you have to be in a position to defend this one year of experience okay it's not that like you have worked for one month and you say one year in that case like interviewer is also smart uh, he's going to pick you because you may be applying for one job but he is interviewing at least like five guys like you every day so it's very easy for the interviewer to 
like figure out whether you are like defending your experience or not and if you say like uh, you fake this thing so you have to like be on that level to defend uh, whatever you are projecting right so you have to like smartly lie because like the problem here is there are some jobs which requires you to work at least like 2 years on automation so and uh, like you haven't w- actually worked for 2 years but uh, like you have like 6 or 9 months of a solid experience and um, like uh, you know how things work so in that case like uh, i recommend you to just like say you have worked for 2 years put it on resume and uh, like be in a position to like work what you what you say right and uh, like i can show you my resume and everything in the end plus when you are making the resume so and you are like less than 8 years like this is my approach i'm not uh, like you are agree to disagree with me on this but till 8 years of experience you should have like one page resume and that's up to you how you are going to like put your everything in that one page so that's that is skill that's why i said like uh, you have to like put in efforts and time in building your resume so let me share with you my resume and before that like i tell you i have used this website nova resume dot in you can easily found find it on google and i'll i'll also link down in the description box so like this is my one page resume yep so in like this is only of single page and in this i have mentioned each and everything which i have like done and like i need to update it this is not the latest one and i cannot like write on it but through pointer i'll tell you and also guys like uh, i'll recommend you to switch it to 1.5x speed that's in this way like you will save your time also because i speak little slow all right so i need to also like put out this line so like this is in template which you can find on nova resume and through it like you can uh, define the organizations you have worked the time frame plus location and everything your achievements your skills so these are the like the key points so this is like very much necessary for you because nowadays like the hr don't have time to go through each and every resume so what they have done is like they have made some automated softwares that will pick up the keywords so it's very much like important for you to like put in the desired keywords which is required for that particular job that's why it is like recommended you you tailor your um, resume according to particular organization you are uh, applying to right and uh, like the achievement the certifications you have done and this this should not like go i think in this resume i have covered each and everything and plus you should also maintain that uh, like uh, there is no point of uh, making a 3 to 5 page resume and like cover each and everything because if you are selected let's say like this uh, this uh, gives the interviewer an rough idea like what are the organization my basic projects my um, achievement certifications personal personal projects and everything and uh, if i am selected obviously like i am going to discuss more about uh, what i have done so there is no point in like stretching your resume to like 2 3 pages until unless you are like below 10 or 8 years of experience because after that like you need to specify till that time you have worked on at least uh like five projects so it's very difficult to put it in one page but um, you got my point right that uh, <clears throat> if you can you should like make a single page resume and uh, i have like told you that uh, 
novo resumes website you can visit it and uh, see these things like uh, there should uh, there should not be a like major white spaces in your resume and uh, you can also link down your git profile your stack overflow if you are good any lead code so in this you can specify your github pages your lead code like stars and put it in everything so you can visit this website it is very much helpful now coming to like if you have made a killer resume and you are from tier 3 college you are not getting calls so like i personally recommend you to go for nokri fast forward because i have done it and i have seen the like the difference because earlier like i was getting two calls per day not actually two calls but like one to two calls per day and after this it it was like five like nothing is guaranteed out of it but i'm sure like if you are applying for a 10 to 15 lpa job or let's say 20 lpa job so like spending 2 to 3k i took it um, in 2.2k but you can easily like get it below 3k so 3000 is not a big amount to invest in job search so i'll, I'll recommend you this part because it helped me and uh, it is definitely going to help you and uh, the way it works is that and whenever a recruiter search for like all the guys in automation testing in gurgaon and if you have applied for that particular region so your resume is like displayed at the top so this way there there are better chances of the recruiter contacting you so i'll recommend you like this this part is recommended from my side now coming to linkedin premium so the job job part is free and regarding sending the in mails like directly to recruiters like i haven't done it and it is like little costly also i think 1.5k per month and this was like 2.2k for 3 months so i don't see any point in like sending a message uh, for 1.5000 like 1500 rupees so anyway like you can send the request to the hr and they'll accept it and you can save so this is like uh, if you feel you can afford this go for it otherwise i'll not recommend like strongly recommend you to go for linkedin premium that's up to you if you can spend it obviously like it's a good product but not something without it you cannot survive so this was it now coming to the next phase of job search so nowadays like there are telegram groups there is a navin job search so the navin automation labs have made their telegram group in that like there is a different group regarding job search india job search and uh, like ua job search there are pretty much many groups on telegram you can easily search um, search and uh, i'll also try to link down the links in the description box so that like you can directly join and uh, there are some whatsapp groups also but nowadays like whatsapp has a limit of 250 members so like these are not that much handy but the telegram one is um, something it's free of cost and i'll definitely recommend you to join these groups and uh, and the good part about these groups is like direct referral so i have got my first job in essential through a direct referral found on the telegram so how it works is let's say Uh, currently i'm working in tcs and i have a job so there is an um, like referral bonus so i post it in the group and let's say i get uh, 10 mails or 10 referrals so out of this i'll pick up the best two which i feel are able to crack the interview because like going through the profile you can easily uh, find out how uh, because like guys try to think that uh, it's not possible for anyone to refer 10 guys directly or 
it lowers down your credibility so how it works for me is that like i other select two to five people because uh, like you can refer how much you want but still like uh, whatever the like the best job description matches through the profile i'll uh, like forward those and uh, there is a very high chance that conversion rate okay so what my point of uh, telling you is that like join this telegram group it is very much it is very much helpful and uh, it will definitely like this is free of cost and definitely help you in grabbing your next job and like uh, this is something like this groups and everything works for like not the fang and everything because for that like you have to go through linkedin so what i have seen is that like all the service based organization they prefer this nokri and all the um, like those product based good product based organizations they go for linkedin so i have found like the better jobs on linkedin so that you can see now coming to the tips and the tricks so like there is nothing called tricks so the tip uh, i'll say that uh, like just just dive into the ocean and um, you will like sail through and i have seen guys uh, recommending that <clears throat> without any preparation also you can simply like give interviews so how it works that you apply for first organization and um, they ask 10 questions and you prepare those 10 questions then jump to the second interview after that like you will obviously like find eight new questions prepare them then go for the third one but like this approach i'll not um, recommend because uh, it takes time and ob there are some situations in which if you have applied for one organization uh, you cannot like apply again for three months so like why block for three months if you're not uh, like fully prepared so in this case i'll tell you that prepare for 70 percent and uh, jump after it these are the things uh, which you sh uh, should apply through and uh, make make a sheet and uh, in that like uh, what i mean to say is you have applied for organization one and 10 question note it down note down the interviewer name and these steps so that like in future also you can help your friend or anyone who is applying uh, on the same for the same organization so that was it guys um, comment down below if you have any issues and i'll definitely try to like fix it and uh, thank you for watching